Well, I suppose obviously the biggest influence would have had to be my dad. My dad was football mad and uh, absolutely loved football. We played football. He was a good non-league footballer. He had fantastic ability, really, the old man. And uh, he came when he came back from the war. You know, I think that it was difficult then that. But he played, uh, he played to a good standard and he was a real good player and he, he really, you know, took me to football every week. We went to football together he, and he followed me all through my career and as a schoolboy he was there every week taking me to football or coming with me on the buses. We, we didn't have a car, but um, so he, he was a massive influence. He just loved football. And, uh, we're very similar in, in the respect that, you know, I enjoy it. I love football. You know, if there was a game on over the park, he'd go and watch it. and. He followed schoolboy football, East London boys, he'd watch every game. And so we're very similar in that respect. He, he was a, obviously a massive influence. And then when I went into football, obviously I think Ron Greenwood, the manager, was a, a great coach and I was very lucky to go to a football club where, you know, he, I was working with a man who was, who was so forward thinking in his, in his coaching methods and uh, he, was, he was a great influence on everybody who ever played at West Ham. Um, so I was very lucky then, I think John Bond, I played with John and came to Bournemouth and he was a great coach. So I was lucky really to, to work with some, under some good football people. We, we, we all loved, yeah, it was in the family really, you know, I think we all just loved, we, we, we enjoyed football. It was a big part of our lives, you know, I didn't force the boys into playing football. You know, Jamie was, used to come training with me, him and Mark, when, you know, we went to America, I played out in Seattle and uh, they would come training every day and spend all day out on the training pitch, you know, kicking the ball around while we were, we were training as a team. Uh, and he spent his life, they spent their life around footballers. So, um, but the most important thing you've got to have is the ability, obviously, and Jamie had the ability to play at the top level. So, um, you know, he, he never really wanted to do anything else but play, be a footballer. Um, and Mark was also, Mark was unlucky, he was a good player and he, he broke his ankle terribly when he was only sort of 18 at, at, playing at Bournemouth and it really finished him, you know, he ended up with an ankle that he was in such a mess that he couldn't play with it really. So, but they both loved it, so I didn't, but I didn't push it on them, it was just natural, I didn't, they didn't come over from school or I'd go and watch them play on a Sunday or whatever. I didn't batter them and say, oh, you should be doing this or doing that. I, I, I just, we went, I stood quietly out the way, me and Sandra watched the games and let them just go and enjoy playing football. There's nothing worse as a kid than having, it must be terrible to have, a, have your parents or your dad coming home shouting and screaming at you and telling you you ain't doing this or telling you to do. I think the enjoyment would go out of it. I didn't do that. I just let them get on and play and enjoy their football.